G. Herbo has transformed the narrative surrounding his name in recent years following the release of Swervo and Still Swervin. Both PTSD and 25 demonstrated his lyrical prowess at its peak, and the string of features he's delivered throughout 2021 has proven he's got staying power. Herb hasn't slowed down, and it appears that his next release is just around the corner. Herbo posted to Instagram earlier this week and made a big claim that could signal that he isn't holding back on his next project. The rapper hinted that he could be one of the best rappers of his generation. I think I'm one of the best rappers alive, he wrote. LOL NBS though. The reaction was divisive, but Herbo's supporters stuck with him. On Twitter, a swarm of fans proclaimed Herb to be one of the best wordsmiths of the drill era. In terms of the internet, I never really pay attention to it. Because music has evolved so much, Herbo notified us about the online slander in December. And you know, the generation of music consumers have changed dramatically. I just had the feeling that maybe people didn't understand what I was doing with music or what I was on. Wright was raised in Chicago, Illinois. He dropped out of Hyde Park Academy High School when he was 16 years old. McMill, Jeezy, Gucci Mane, Yo Gotti, and Lil Wayne influenced him. He is good friends with fellow rapper Lil Bibby, with whom he has worked with several songs. Both artists are associated with the family and LMB, which was formed from the merger of No Limit, a renegade faction of the almighty Black Peace Tone Nation, and the Muskegon Boys, a renegade faction of the Gangster Disciples, though the initials NLMB are also used by the gang to signify Never Leave My Brothers and No Limit Muskegon Boys. NLMB, according to Wright, is a brotherhood rather than a gang. G Herbo and Lil Bibby rose to prominence with their song Kill Shit, which has been seen over 15 million times on YouTube. Lil Herb and Lil Bibby earned notoriety in the hip-hop community because Canadian music, Drake, referred to them as the future. Welcome to Fazoland, Herbo's debut mixtape was released on February 17, 2014. The mixtape is named after Fazan Robinson, one of Herbo's pals who was killed by gun violence in Chicago. Welcome to Fazo Land received widespread critical acclaim, with Fader noting that lyrical bankruptcy has been one of Drill's most popular complaints since its rise to prominence a few years ago. Herb's ability with words defies the stereotype. Herbo partnered with East Coast rapper Nicki Minaj on Chirac in April 2014. On Common's album, Nobody Smiling, he contributed to the song The Neighborhood. Herb was chosen for the show and proved portion of XXL's 2014 freshman class issue. Herbo also collaborated with Chance the Rapper and Common on the song Flight or Flight. Herbo's surprise mixtape Pistol P Project, his second project of 2014, was released on December 26, 2014. Herbo appeared alongside fellow Chicago rappers King Louie and Lil Bibby on Chief Keef's Fanato on April 2, 2015. Herbo released a single named XXL on June 9, 2015, after being left off the 2015 XXL freshman cover. In response, XXL praised the rapper, stating that he switches between different flows seamlessly. Herbo was named to the 2016 freshman class by XXL on June 13, 2016. Herbo released his third mixtape, Ballin' Like I'm Kobe, on August 4, 2015. In memory of his fallen friend, Jacoby D. Herring, Wright joined Cinematic Music Group and officially changed his rap name to G. Herbo on September 3, 2015. Herb stated on September 27, 2015, that Ballin' Like I'm Kobe would be released on September 29, 2015. The mixtape was released on September 29, 2015 to tremendous critical acclaim. On November 11, 2015, Herbo and New York rapper Joey Badass released a joint single titled Lord Knows. Wright and two other men were arrested in February 2018 
after their limousine driver notified police that some of his passengers had guns. Wright was seen in the back passenger seat, loading a pistol into the seat back pocket. It was a Fabric National loaded with ammunition meant to breach body armor. All three were charged with aggravated unlawful use of a weapon despite the fact that none of them had a firearm owner's identity card. On April 19, 2019, Wright was arrested in Atlanta for simple violence following an alleged violent confrontation with his child's mother, Ariana Ari Fletcher. On Thursday, April 18, Fletcher posted her Instagram story writing, He kicked down my door to get in because I wouldn't let him in, and then beat the F out of me in front of my baby. Then he took my son outside to his pals and had them drive away with my son, hit all my knives in my house, smashed my phone, locked me inside, and beat the F out of me once more. She also claimed to have visible indications of abuse, such as a black eye and scrapes, cuts, and bruises all over her body. Wright was released on $2,000 bond a week later. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. What are your views about G Herbo? Let us know in the comments, like this video, and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.